Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do with the Samsung Galaxy M22. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is uh, to make the phone a bit quicker because uh, there are little animations. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Maybe if I'm opening near the play, if I'm open the Play Store, you see this animation that zooms out and it zooms in if I close it. One more time, it zooms out if I open it and it zooms in if I close it. But you can remove these kind of animations and uh, the uh, performance of the phone will be better after. So you should give them a try. Uh, let me show you how this works. For that, just scroll down here. I go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need to scroll down to the point. Accessibility. And here we will need the point visi visi visibility <laughs> enhancements. I'm sorry. And here we will need to point remove any missions. Okay. Now if I'm closing it, you can see already no animations and so on. If I open now the Play Store, it's immediately there. If I close it, it's immediately gone. Huh? Let's compare. If we're off, remove animations, then zooms out, zooms in. And you should really uh, try it uh, because it makes the phone faster and so on. It, it saves time. The next one I want to show you is also a very nice one because uh, the phone is very large and so on and you cannot reach everything with one thumb. But there's a way to make the screen a bit smaller, a one-handed mode that you can use it with one hand. Let me show you how you can enable this one. Okay, for that, scroll down as well to go to the settings. Then we need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And here we will have the point one-handed mode. And if I enable the one-handed mode, now, if you want, you can tap also on one-handed mode and you see how it works a bit. Um, you can choose between the gesture one and the button one, but the gesture one is better. The gesture one means that if you swipe down the home button, then you have a smaller screen. Now, if you want to go back to the regular screen, just tap here on the outside and it's there. And that makes it very comfortable no, if I scroll down here now, I have completely access here with one hand and I can really uh, play games or going to the internet and so on and so on. And by the way, if you are left-handed, you have also the chance here to uh, go on the arrow and then it's on the other side here. So uh, very nice. Yeah, and whenever you want to stop it, if you have both hands available, just tap on the outside and you're back in the regular mode. Then the next point is uh, something to make the uh, yeah the screen is larger, no? not that large than so much other phones, but it is still large uh, with 6.5 inches. Uh, and you can use the full screen made to make the uh, text size a bit bigger or in general, the screen as um, the icons a bit bigger and so on. Let me show you how this works. So. Um, I think you can imagine already we need the settings for, so just scroll down here and then go to the symbol for the settings. And um, then we will need the point display. And here we have the point font size and style. So um, here we can uh, enlarge a bit the text size if we want. No? It affects you also the notifications and so on. And we can do also something else. Uh, if I go back now one step so that I'm back in the display settings, I can set up the screen zoom. And the screen zoom enlarge everything. Huh? And um, that makes it much more comfortable for the eyes. As you can see, the icons grow up as well a bit. And uh, the only thing is, at the notifications, I cannot see everything. Uh, again, yeah, there's only this advantage, but uh, if I'm going to the settings maybe here, uh, everything is enlarged and it makes it much more comfortable. Yeah, the next mode I want to show you is uh, if you say, okay, I don't need it uh, so enlarged, I want to have more on my big screen here, um, then you can do something if you pinch in in the home screen here with two fingers like this, uh, one more time, like this, then you have a special um, uh, they have you some special options here and one of them are the settings here. Let's go into settings and I want to have um, the home screen grid here at first. Um, so it's uh, four times, no? so uh, four apps in a row 
and you can have that five times here. But if you say, okay, I want to have much more, then you can go on five to six, and then you have, uh, and the icons become smaller, of course, but there are much more space for it, uh, for much more apps on the home screen. Huh? Um, the same thing you can do also with the app screen. Huh? Great. Um, you can also say, okay, I want to have more apps here in a row, like this, and you can see there's, uh, there are much more apps now in a row, and uh, yeah, then you don't have too much pages and so on. But of course, the text is smaller and the icons are smaller as well. But if you say, our oh, mice are good enough, why not? Okay, let's continue with apps. I have here some messenger apps and so on, uh, like WhatsApp and uh, Facebook and so on. Um, and uh, you can have two accounts on one app. So you can clone apps. So that means that you can have uh, two WhatsApp accounts and hey, why not? You can insert two SIM cards. Why not having two WhatsApp accounts? No? And you can have two Facebook accounts here as well on one phone. Let me show you how this works. So for that, just scroll down here. Let's go to the settings again. So then we need to scroll down to the point, advanced features. And here we have the point, we scroll a bit down, dual messenger. And here we have a list which apps are supported uh, with that feature. And if you want to clone apps, just tap here, go on install, and he's installing a second app. If you're doing it for the very first time, he was asking you also if you want to have a separate contact list. You can skip that thing because you can um, do it always later because you can have a separate contact list for your for all your second apps so that means uh, that the main contacts are just for the first account and for the second account you can have an own contact list so let's clone also here snapchat facebook and messenger okay by the way instagram doesn't work huh? and also the light versions of messenger and uh, facebook doesn't work as well so um, but the main apps you can clone and if you're using the uh, Messenger Lite uh, or Facebook Lite app, you can also have a third app or a third account on the phone. Huh? Okay, uh, let me show you how it, how it works finally. This is how it looks like. So um, this is my main WhatsApp account and this is the second one. The second one you can always recognize with the orange mark here. Now the first snapshot account, the second one, as you can see here add an orange mark. Same thing with Facebook, main Facebook account, second Facebook account. And as I said, the light versions of Facebook and Messenger we haven't, we hadn't in our list. Uh, but that means you could have also with these apps a third account here if you want to have many Facebook accounts on your phone. Okay, the next point I want to show you is you can hide apps. Uh, you can uh, uh, if you don't want that someone sees that you have a specific app on your phone, you can hide it. Let me show you how this works. Take two, two fingers again, if you are here on the home screen, pinch them in, and then we have the settings here, huh? as you know. Okay, and we scroll down a bit, we have here the point hide apps. Okay, and then now we can choose apps we want to hide. May let's hide. Instagram maybe, huh? and Instagram is hidden, go on done. And yeah, let's check. Instagram is no more there. Huh? So no one sees that I'm having Instagram on my phone. Uh, but what, what, how you should do, if you want to use it, how you can use Instagram on the phone if it's not visible anymore. Let me show you how this works. It's a bit complicated, I think. But uh, it's hidden. It's the only disadvantage, uh, the only advantage. So just go here on the search bar. So then you have to um, write Instagram here. Oh, I'm not the fastest one. Head over. Insta. Where's the A? Give me a help. Am I on a good way? Insta. Um, okay. Um, then at the moment you will see already um, uh, 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 in the search in uh, on the search results Instagram. And now if I tap on Instagram, I can 
open the app for me. As you see, it is not so easy um, to open it and after, but if you want to have it hidden on your phone, that's the way um, to do that. Also, what you set up uh, at the beginning is uh, something for the fingerprint sensor because uh, you can have an easier look with the notifications. Usually you need two hands. One is holding the phone and the other hand is scrolling down the notifications. But there is a way uh, to have also the notifications with just one hand. Let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings. I think you noticed already. <laughs> then let's take here the point advanced features again. And here I need motions and gestures. And here I need the point finger sensor gestures. If I enable it, I'm now able to scroll down the so scroll down at the, at the fingerprint sensor to having the notifications. And if I want to remove it, I just scroll up. No? And as I said, it's very useful if I'm having the phone in one hand. Scroll down and scroll up. Very easy and simple. And this is uh, to have always quick access to the notifications. Okay, the next point I want to show you is something for our eyes because uh, I think you have realized it already. If you're looking on your smartphone, it gives your eyes stress, especially in the evening. And uh, yeah, there are some universities who say um, this uh, makes uh, sleepless nights and so on. But uh, you can reduce this blue light, uh, what is disturbing our eyes. And uh, let me show you how you can do that. For that, scroll down here. No, we don't need the settings. <laughs> scroll down a second time because there's a shortcut also here. Um, first of all, we have more apps here, also nice to know. And also on the second page, we have a second page and we can add also more shortcuts here. Uh, and here's a way to enable this eye comfort shield, so the blue light filter, very quick and easy. So just tap on it and you will see that the color of the display is already changing. Uh, and that's the blue light filter. A bit unusual at the beginning, but I promise you it will become better after a few days uh, we will become used to. Okay, now something else. If you go down to the written world here, the shortcuts, you have sometimes more options, like in that case. Hmm? Because here I can set up as well the color temperature. Huh? Um, by the way, uh, most of the time at the default settings, we have the adaptive display here. Uh, this recognizes a bit the area and turn on a bit of the blue light filter here, but I would recommend to you to customize it by your own. Customize the blue light filter because then you can squeeze out maximum from the blue light filter. And as more opacity we have here, as better it is for your eyes. And as I said at the beginning, very useful uh, in the evening because our eyes have really stress and um, that could affect also our sleep after. So um, you should have it at latest at night. So if you're looking on your smartphone in the evening, uh, you should have enabled the blue light filter. And if you say, okay, it's too complicated to scroll down every time, and, uh, no, no problem, you can schedule it. Huh? Let me show you how this works. So just go here on details and uh, then go here on set scheduled. Huh? And I would recommend to you, like in my case, to from the sunset to sunrise. You should enable it from the sunset to sunrise because then uh, the phone is detecting it automatically with the time and the local zone and so on. Um, the time zone when the sun rises and when the sun goes down. And uh, it will enable it automatically when the sun sets and when the sun rises. It will turn off that feature. Um, so a very useful tool. And the second thing to support it, especially in the evening. Uh, for that, just scroll in here, scroll down a second time, go on the second page, and here we have the dark mode. So if we enable the dark mode, you see what was very bright before becomes dark. You can see it as best at the settings because it's no more white, it's black now. And that also really supports our eyes in the evening because if everything is dark around you and you have a very bright screen, of course, hmm, 
it does make so much fun for the eyes. And um, let me go back here. So uh, if I go now here on the written word dark mode, as we have learned, we have some more options. Yes, we have, we have some details here because on the day, um, the dark mode is not so good because if there is less, uh, if there is much light, like in the sunlight, it's very difficult to uh, see some on the screen. So you should have it just on the evening. And I really recommend to you to turn on it as shed duty as well. And uh, of course, also sunset to sunrise. Um, then the phone auto detects uh, the situation and turn it on if you need it and turn it off if you don't need it. We are at the last point. And uh, the last point is also something at the shortcuts. Um, it's about the torch, the flashlight. And uh, I think you, you know already how to use it. No? Scroll on here and then we have here the icon for the flashlight or the torch and so on. But there's a nice uh, Easter egg also in it. So if you scroll down again, no? as we have learned, we have some more options here. Also, if you uh, tap on the written words, um, you have here the option at the flashlight to make it brighter. Hmm? Also good to know. And this feature, by the way, you can set it up and it stays also like this if I put it on level five. Now you see, um, it is really, um, uh, this is very bright after we go and done. And uh, next time if you're using a flashlight right, to see something in the dark, it is much more useful and so on. Yeah. As I said, we are at the end. I hope I could uh, show you some uh, new stuff here for your phone, what you can set up and so on. And uh, yeah, if you want, uh, you can give me a nice comment, maybe with your favorite feature and so on, uh, or you can give me also a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And you have created also some other videos if you're interested in. Uh, or you can also subscribe me to don't miss a new video. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao!